How's it going guys? I love donuts, but sometimes it's just such a bother to go all the way to the store and then lay down so much money, especially if you're going to like a dedicated gourmet donut shop where you're spending 10, 15, $25 for a dozen donuts. So I wanted to try making some of my own at home. Now this was a buttermilk donut uh, recipe that I used. It was just a pretty basic recipe that I found online. I'm sure you could find it anywhere. So I wanted to try some of these and let you guys know what I thought. So I made a little bit of glaze for a couple of these. I covered some in powdered sugar and there are a few that I just left completely plain. So first of all, I wanted to try just the regular old uh, donuts with nothing added on top. These are actually really heavy and really dense. Oh man, it looks like they're probably a little bit undercooked in the middle. Uh, that's all right, I'm still gonna eat them. Despite being so heavy, they're actually really light and crispy on the outside. I think since they were fried just a few minutes ago, they're quite warm that I shouldn't put them in like balls. <laughs> you know, I should probably cut them out into the actual thinner donut shapes because they are a little bit doughy in the middle. Oh my gosh, fantastic. I mean, these taste like really great donuts that you'd get at your donut shop. Very, very good. Now these ones that are covered with powdered sugar kind of reminded me a little bit of beignets. If you've ever had beignets, uh, those are like French donuts. They're very light and fluffy and usually covered with a little bit of powdered sugar. Don't exhale too hard when you're around these because <laughs> that powdered sugar will go everywhere. Make an absolute mess. Man, that little bit of extra sweetness on the outside is really, really tasty. I love that. And when I dip it in the milk, it's almost like the powdered sugar becomes almost like a little bit of an icing on the outside. And last up, I wanted to try some with this icing. This is just a little bit of melted coconut oil uh, with a little bit of milk and a bunch of powdered sugar dumped on top. <laughs> That's how you make icing. Oh, it's so delicious. Guys, iced donuts are like my favorite. So these donuts with the icing, by far my favorite. Now I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to making donuts or fried food. And you saw I didn't have like specialized equipment. I just melted some coconut oil uh, on the stove top in a regular old saucepan, threw a candy thermometer in there to make sure it wasn't getting too hot. And I just dumped those things in there and let them fly until they looked like they might have been done. <laughs> but I have to say these are really tasty. I'm gonna give them like maybe a seven, maybe even an eight out of 10. Definitely, definitely the fact that they are fresh out of the oil just makes them so much better. Uh, I had a ton of fun making these donuts. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and finish these guys off because that's exactly what you do when you make a bunch of donuts.
I'm making such a mess with these. Like that icing is so sticky. <laughs> My fingers are an absolute mess. And I have no idea how many calories are in these. Don't care one bit. They're just so delicious.
fun experience, guys. Um, it's the first time I've ever done anything like that. I just heated up some oil on the stove top and dumped some stuff in there to fry. And I was really surprised at how light and not greasy those donuts were. I mean, that's what happens when you uh, fry at a really high heat. You know, there's liquid in the dough and when it's superheated, it evaporates and like pushes the oil out. So that's what causes all that bubbling and none of the oil is actually absorbed. So if you're frying at a lower temperature, that's when you tend to get the really greasy, like heavy, uh, just oil ridden food. So I did learn a couple of things. If I was gonna do that again, I would definitely make smaller donuts, probably make them like donut hole size, or I might even roll them out and like cut them out into actual donut shapes so that they were cooked all the way through. Because the outside, they were just so golden, crispy, brown, and delicious. Everything exactly like you'd want them to be. And to have fresh donuts, so warm, in my own kitchen, well, it was just spectacular. <laughs> so I hope you guys got a kick out of that. And until next time, peace out. You guys take it easy.